Lipubay, Mayox. The biggest problem about those two substances is that they were not the exception. They are the rule. Look at this. Take aspirin. It's prescribed to prevent, allegedly, prevent heart disease. After eight, ten years, not immediately, heart disease explodes in people taking continuously aspirin. Cholesterol blockers prescribed against heart disease. After five, eight, ten years, cancer and liver disease explodes. Painkillers, Vioxx, prescribed against arthritis. 30,000 people who took Vioxx will die from having taken this drug, according to U.S. official statistics. Estrogen, cancer, chemo, AIDS, chemo, we've talked about that. So it is a principle that the marketing strategies is symptom-oriented. 80% of the drugs currently prescribed to people in the Netherlands and Europe, taken by the people of the Netherlands and Europe, paid by the health insurance in the Netherlands and Europe, have no proven efficacy. They're simply symptom-oriented. And it's no coincidence. Remember the market. They cannot destroy the market. So curing the disease would destroy the market. So what they do is they pretend. They give you the impression that they've helped you. But the disease must continue or without you knowing, new diseases slowly grow in your body as new markets. So and this is no surprise that the deadly side effects of pharmaceutical drugs have become the fourth leading cause of death in Europe and the US, only surpassed by heart attacks, cancer, and strokes. So the industry that is here drives through the country and says, well, look at my chrome polish. I'm here for providing health to you. They themselves organized the fourth largest epidemic in our middle. The influence is dramatic. There's no sector of the German society, at least, that is not infiltrated by these interests. Medicine, media, politics. The Dutch government is supporting the promotion of ARV drugs in South Africa. What is the interest of the Dutch government to do that? There's no pharmaceutical company in the Netherlands that produces these drugs. We've talked about this. It's, it's just deceit. So this is an original, this is, a, this is a drawing obviously, but this is an original ad from Bayer. And it says, research life. Realize your dreams. Science for a better life. It has absolutely nothing to do with research, with diseases. It's just show. And this gent here, he has, uh, research is the best medicine. I have survived a stroke. That's what it reads here. Pharmaceutical manufacturers of Germany. Well, no one asked the question, why did he get a stroke in the first place? It really reminds us on something we've seen as political systems the world over. There, is, there are prisoners and they don't, many of them don't even realize that we are prisoners. Because there is this wall of deception where we have all those pictures. And behind those pictures, there's brutal reality. People are being killed just for business. And then, if they want to bridge this swamp here, they can't. Because there's no bridge. There's even a fence. The fence is there. These are the laws that make vitamins, prescription drugs. And then, of course, there is the wall where you should not look through. What I told you today, that's beyond this wall. This is where we can reach. But first, we need to bring down this wall. It really reminds us on, a, on political 
um, dictatorships. And this is exactly what uh, we are facing. And I cannot go into the details, but you will see in the next couple of months that under the leadership of especially the German uh, um, EU Commission, we will gradually see the instrumentarium of uh, internet spying, of uh, uh, storage of computer data, of uh, the uh, civil rights being compromised under the pretense of fighting terrorism and whatnot. You will see that. The real reason is a totally different one. Tonight, information that is spreading is one reason why they need to prepare this. For if this information not only touches the hearts and minds of 80 people or 100 people tonight here, but of uh, 15 million, 20 million people here in this country and, and uh, 250 million in Europe, then these politicians will no longer be there. 